Well, a while back, my third novel was accepted for publication and due out within the year, and I just didn't know what to do. There's so many different ways now to put a book out on the track, tell it to bring all the money back, and I was confused. I had funny feelings inside me. Truth be told, I didn't know whether to shit or go blind. So one day I was out on a walk. I like to walk around outside. I was asking for more free water at this new place with nice, clean smelling people inside when I saw it, like it was sent to me on a string from the heavens above. And that's how I came to meet Robbie Dinwiddie. I called the number on the paper, said I had a book what could use some selling. He said he was the man for the job and I believed him. I put him on a plane the next day and we got down to brass tacks right off the bat. And you want me right here? Down. Right there, get, get comfortable? That's kind of a homemade job over here. Oh, this doesn't look too terrible. Is this a serious Sorry. problem? No, it's, it's good. Okay, um, all right. State your name and uh, whatever dipshit. Oh, wow. Do it, Robbie. Robbie said people like a man in a suit. They like a man in a suit inside his study. They like him to answer questions he doesn't see coming at all. Things escalated quick into a really weird realm. Tell us a little bit about the book. When does it come out? What's it about? And where do you get all your crazy ideas? It comes out in July. It's about a boom town. What caused the fire? It's about money miracle cures and loyalty and swindle. And question three? You didn't address question three. It's about Abe Bache and Goldie Toothman. It's a red light district love story, a poker player's guide to navigating greed in the million dollar coal fields. Robbie started calling me quite a bit. After a while, it's safe to say he called thrice a day. He said he wanted to, in his words, work his nutsack off for me, sell as many book units as possible. He said it was all catchphrases these days, that we just needed a catchphrase or two to spark, and then it would be time to strike up the band and bang the pots and so forth. You told me that you're worried about all the farting that goes on in the book. Is this true? That's right. Some people claim they don't think farts are funny. Well, repeat after me. Get ready to get rich. Who fought it? Who fought it? Had a boy. Now you're getting wise to the book game. I was getting wise to one thing, that's for certain. Turns out I'm a do it Robbie kind of man. And do it Robbie kind of men and women, well, you know the rest. And this July, if you see a book about with a capuchin monkey joker card on its cover and you think to yourself, should I do it? Do it, Robbie.